myself Mitali Jain and in today's session we will learn about PIC Development Board Trainer Kit Order code is 21225073.5 This kit is equipped with onboard iOS, communication interface and peripherals and the apparatus required for the experiments are So this is our trainer kit this is our power adapter which will supply power to our trainer kit. This is pick it to programmer. These are FRC cable which will be required for the communication and this is USB cable. Now first of all we will study about this trainer kit and its parts. Now first of all we will open our trainer kit. Now. The part of this trainer kit follows as this is our power supply, this is power on off switch, this is heat sink, this is OLED display, this is ADC variable resistor port, this is digital input switch, this is battery, here we will connect our battery, this is buzzer, this is for relay and steeper motor. Now this is our SD card holder, this is jumper setting for 12C RTC, this is jumper setting for EPROME. So now this is 1 into 4 keypad switches, this is bus interface connector, this is 4 cross 4 keypad matrix. So now this is, this is our PIC controller. This PIC controller name is PIC16F877A and we will name our device in the software by this name only. And there are its ports. This is port B, this is port D, this is port A and this is port C and this is dip switch. So now this is our LCD display 16 into 2. This is 7 segment display. This is 2 cross 4 LED. This is jumper setting for UART selection pin. This is our Wi Fi module. This is jumper setting for UART TTL. This is USB port. This is DB9 serial female connector. In this trainer kit, we can perform different experiments such as LED blinking, interface of UART, ADC, LCD and other devices with PIC microcontroller. First of all, you have to download the application Micro C Pro PIC. After that, you have to open the window. Then this window will be open. So then click on next. I accept the term and conditions and after that complete all the procedures which are mentioned so click on the next next then click on install so now after the installation and download of the software you have to click on it then this processing will be started after that the software will be open now you have to create a new project so for that you have to click on project then click on new project after that this window will be opened then you have to click on standard project then next after that you have to name your device so i am mentioning it as the name of our microcontroller ic that is p16f877a so you can also scroll it down so it's p16f877a So the number is, so yes I got the number. Now you have to mention the device clock which is 20 megahertz. So you have to mention 20. Then click on next. So after that you can also add file to your project. So if you want to add any file to your project then you can also click on add and you can also browse the file. So but if you don't want to add then you can click on finish also. So as I have click on finish 
so in this way our window project has been open now you can write the code then click on build after that remember one thing you have to import the library whenever you write the code so here you have to write your program now in our first experiment we will study about blinking and led in this experiment we will study the interface of led with pic microcontroller in this the led will turn and turn off after a particular delay so we will start this now for the experiment 1 the procedure follows as first we have to connect the isp port of trainer kit to the isp port of picket to programmer using frc cable after that we have to connect the pb port and sv2 port using frc cable after that we have to connect the usb cable then we have to connect the power adapter to the pic trainer kit so this is our power adapter we have to connect it from this side in such a manner so as you can see i have connected then switch on its supply for that first we have to connect it to our supply and then switch on it and after that you have to connect this end of usb cable to your cpu so as you can see we have connected our usb cable to our cpu so before uploading any hex file to the our trainer kit we have to make this dp2 FTRX and FTTX pin high and DIP one all pin high. Now first we have to open the software. So it's Micro C Pro for PIC. Then its window has been opened. So you can see its window. So now after that you have to import the library. So Micro C Pro has its own library. So you can select its library. Then I have already imported its library. So after that you have to create a new project. The process for same as be has been done before as we have done. Uh, in the time of installation then you have to name your device set the frequency then click on new project then click on next as you can see my project has been already mentioned then you have to write the frequency that is 20 so then it's finish so in this way now you have to write the program for this so uh, now we have to write the code for this now after we have to write the code for our experiment led blinking so as this code has been already provided in our user manual you have to mention the code from there so it's sbit led at rb0 underscore bit so this code uh, further you have to define for different pins so as i am uh, writing the code so the code is so here we have uh, written the code so this is basic initials uh, so now this all code are for defining port b pin that is b1 as led2 b4 as led3 and b5 as led4 so this is basically to define port b so now we will create main so it's void main then after that you have to enter the whole code which we have mentioned
so this is the whole code for our led blinking so as you can see i have already written the whole code so after that you have to import the library so it's micro e library system library you have to click on whole all the text so you have to tick mark all the adc button flash i2c so you have to select all the library so as you can uh, i have selected all the options like oh, uh, this is important you have to select the library whenever you will write the code so all the options has been selected now you have to click on build so you can you have to first save your file so i'll make a folder so i'll create a new folder so i have mentioned it as ilid so i'll save my folder in this so then click on save so as you can see my program has been successfully compiled so now for our experiment we have to install one more software which is PIC Picket to Programmer software. So it's Picket 2. So you have to click on it. The installation links are provided in our user manual. So you can see all the connections are correct. So it has been mentioned your uh, device has been founded. So you can see as we have named our devices. Now we have to check our communication. So you can also check on the click communications then there are different options then first programming then you have to import your hex file so it's my project dot hex then you have to click on it then open so as you can see our uh, uh, switch supply is switched on so all the connections are proper proper so you have to click on ok then our hex file has been successfully imported so now you can check the output on our trainer kit uh, that led so will now be you started can see after blinking. successfully uploading our hex file the led starts blinking so the led will turn on and turn off after a particular delay so in this experiment we have studied the interface of led with PIC microcontroller. Now, in our experiment 2, we will study the interface of liquid crystal display with PIC microcontroller. In this, we will display a message on LCD. Now, for experiment 2, we have to make only one change and rest of the connections are similar to experiment 1. We have to make a change. Now we have to connect the port B. This is port B, PB port to our 16 into 2 LCD display port which is SV1. And rest of the connections are same as we have connected. These are ISP port of trainer kit and uh, pick, up, pick it to programmer. The, this we have connected through FRC cable. This is power adapter and rest of the connections are same. So now we for experiment 2 the, uh, we have to make certain changes and rest of the procedure is same as we have done in our experiment 1. So for this uh, you have to click on micro C pro for PIC and make all the changes like you have to create a new project then name your device then select the frequency and after that you have to import the library. So this all I have done before. So this is the code. So at the left hand side, you can see I have mentioned the device name. Then I have mentioned its frequency which is 20 megahertz. And I have already imported its library. So this is the code at the top, at the above side. So we have mentioned the code to import all the like to set for the LED display or to select the port B. So this is for the output. So at the LCD display, it will be mentioned. Welcome to Tesca. So this is the output basically. 
so this is the code now you have to click on build as you can see our code has been successfully compiled so now we have to select the picket to programmer so click on it then as you can see our connection is proper proper as it's showing a pic device found so it means that all the connections are proper so now you have to click on import hex so then uh, you have to select your file which is lcd then click on open uh, so this is only for to show that your trainer kit has been powered or it has been switched on so then click ok then our hex file has been successfully imported then click on write so you have to wait for a few seconds so our programming has been done successfully so in this manner uh, this shows the interface of lcd with pic microcontroller so we will move to our lcd display and it will be mentioned as welcome to tesca so this is our experiment too now after uploading your code you have to reset the switch after resetting your switch you can see if it doesn't display so you have to also uh, reset this switch this poten this potentiometer so you can see on our display it has been mentioned it's welcome to tesca now in experiment 3 we will study the interface of adc with pic microcontroller in this experiment we will learn how to read the adc value and will display the ADC value on the LCD display. Now for experiment 3, we have to make one change and rest of the steps are similar to experiment 2. We have to make one more connection. We have to connect the FRC cable from port A, this is port A, to ADC port which is SV12 and rest of the steps are same as we have connected this power adapter. This is for LCD display and this is connected to our Picket2 programmer through this FRC cable. So now for our next experiment 3, we have to make the certain changes and rest of the procedure is same. Now we have to write the code. So the code for ADC is so. Uh, the process follows as first of all you have to create a new project then uh, select the frequency then import the library so now I as I have already written the code for uh, ADC so process is similar so this is my code so in this ADC code you can see the frequency I have selected name and uh, i have already imported the library in file manager uh, so this is the code for uh, displaying the lcd that uh, we have used the port b after that this is our main so it's void main uh, first of all we have to initialize the lcd then after that we have cleared the lcd then this is cursor off this is basically to write the text on our lcd screen screen so here we have created a while loop so this is uh, the program for adc here we have uh, read the analog value from adc uh, which is from module channel 0 then after that we have uh, calculated for temp then we have cleared our display then here we have converted the word to str then after that so we have uh, read the text and then we have created a delay also so this is the whole code so this is uh, then you have to click on build so as you can see our program has been successfully compiled now we have to open the picket to programmer so click on it so as you can see that our device uh, has been found so you have to check the connections so then import the hex file so then click on import hex then click on adc then uh, write write and then 
uh, you can see uh, our program has been successfully compiled so now we will display the adc value on our lcd display so now as you can see we have successfully uploaded our hex file so now we have to press the reset switch so as you can see when we press the reset switch on our display screen the adc value is mentioned which is 186 now we will proceed to experiment 4 of fourth uart which is interfacing UART with PIC microcontroller. In this only certain changes is now we will use RS-232 converter. So for that we will require RS-232 to USB cable and rest of the connection is similar. Only one change we have to make. We have to make 232TX and 232RX pin of dip to I and rest of the connections are same. So now you can see rest of the connections are same. Only changes I have connected here are RS-232 cable and I have connected ISP port of trainer kit and ISP port of our small board kit and uh, this is power adapter. All the dip switches according to our user manual I have made. Now you have to install one more software that is uh, TerraTerm software before proceeding to our fourth experiment. So you have to first of all download the software for that link is already provided in our user manual. So now after that you have to uh, select the license agreement then click on the I accept the agreement then click on next then next then here you can select the language so after that you have to click on next then click on install so your installation process has been started and it, you have to finish it so in this way you are able to install the terra term software so now in fourth experiment first of all we have to import our hex file in the programmer so that for that we have to make certain connections we have to connect the usb cable to our programmer and i have connected another end to our cpu and rest of the connections are similar so now we have to switch on our supply So now for our fourth experiment, we have to interface the UART with PIC microcontroller. So for that, we procedure is same as we have done in our previous experiment. We have to do the program in micro C pro for PIC. Then we have to create a new project. Uh, like you have to set the frequency, set the library. This all I have done. I have already written the code. So this is my code. So in this here I have initialized the UART at 9600 BPS. Then I have created a delay of 100. So this is our delay and after that I have as you, besides that I have already selected the libraries set the frequency and rest of the step is same. So one more thing I have done I have created a while if while and if loop so at if loop if data is received so here the data is re read and uh, you can here write the data so it's basically uh, for data write and that is for basically data read now you have to build the code as you can see our code has been successfully compiled now we have to import our hex file now to import our hex file we have to open pick it to programmer so as you can see our device has been found so now you can also check but our device has been already found so now you have to import your hex file so it's uart then click on open then read so our hex file has been here successfully imported so after that you can write the code click on write then you can see that programming has been successfully done so our hex file has been successfully imported to our trainer kit
so now after successfully importing our hex file we have to make certain changes now we have to connect this cable so for that first of all we have to switch off our power so now you have to connect this cable to our port and then and then make rs232 tx and rx pin high and then switch on the supply and now upload all these things in teraterm software so now after making certain changes so we have done three process like uh, sub successfully loaded our hex file then also connected the rs232 cable then after that we have made the dip two switches high uh, tx and rx of rs232 then after that now we have to one more thing one more software which is a teraterm software so the installation for that has been already provided in our user manual so we have to open teraterm software so uh, you have to open the teraterm where you have saved the file so after that you have to open tt pro application then you have to select serial then select the port which serial port you have connected like i have connected com5 so i am selecting com5 then click on ok so whatever i'll write uh, or whatever i'll type so it will be automatically display on our te uh, terror term display so as i am writing hello uh, guys welcome to tesca Uh, technologies so so as you can see this basically shows the interface of UART with PIC microcontroller so whatever I'll write on the Terra term so uh, whatever I'll type so it will be displayed on the Terra term software so this is our experiment 4 now in next experiment 5 we will interface the seven segment display with PIC microcontroller. In this experiment, we will display the digits on seven segment. Now, in experiment five, we have to make certain connections in our trainer board. So, rest of the connections are similar as we have done in our previous experiment. Only change in this, we have to make connections with our seg seven segment display. So, for that, we have to connect the port B and SV3 using this FRC cable and port D and SV4 port using this FRC cable and rest of the connections are same as you can see so now after, in next experiment fifth we have to do the software part so for that first of all we have to write the code for seven segment display so code is already provided in our user manual so i have already written that code so the process is so same for that experiment so first of all we have to open the micro c pro then create a new project set the frequency import all the library so we have already done all the process so this is our code so this is the code for seven segment display here we have uh, written the nine cases and after that we have uh, created a void interrupt so this is for our turn of our seven segment display so all the things we have done is uh, written in comment comment so uh, here we have bring port b values to port b and turn on appropriate seven segment display then we have done the increment port b then after that uh, we have reset the timer value then we have a clear the t01f and after that we have extracted the thousand digit hundred ones then tens so this is basically done in display so after that we have created a mean so for that first of all we have done the timer zero setting and then enable the gie and toiee so this is the whole code 
for seven segment display now we have to build it so as you can see that our code has been successfully compiled and then after that we have to open the picket to programmer so uh, the process is same like uh, our device has been already connected so it's showing PIC device found then if you can also check the connections through tool then we have to import our file which is of uh, seven segment so then click on the seven segment dot hex then open then as you can see that hex file has been successfully imported so you can also see that hex code has been also changed so you have to click on write then verify so in this way we have uh, write the code and successfully imported our hex file so now you can see on our seven segment display so now after successfully uploading hex file we will see the digits on our seven segment display so for that you can see all the connections we have made if there is nothing displayed on your screen so you can press this power on off button and there is a reset switch so you can press it and you can see the values on display so, uh, so now you can clearly see on the seven segment di display there are different values such as 600 620 630 so the value is increasing so it represents the interface of seven segment display with a pic microcontroller now in next experiment six we will interface rtc which is real time clock with PIC microcontroller. In this experiment, we will display time and date on the LCD screen. Now, in this experiment 6, we have to make only certain changes. Rest of the connections are similar to experiment 2 in which we interface the LCD with PIC microcontroller. As you can see, we have connected the port B to SV1 port through this FRC cable and this we have connected to our trainer kit and another end of this we have connected to our programmer kit so only change we have to do is now we have to make this i2c pin this i2c pin and this pin high so now further we will proceed to our next experiment all the changes we have done in our tra uh, trainer kit now we have to compile a program so for that the procedure follows as first of all we have to compile our code then import the hex file so to compile our code first of all we have to uh, open the micro c pro and after that you have to create a new project then set the frequencies import the library and after that you have to write your code compile it and then import that file into your trainer kit through pick it to programmer so our code is this i have already written it so the code is in such a manner that first of all as you can see we have already set the frequency then after that we have to import the micro e library so this is all the system library you have to select it and after that this is rtc so rtc is basically real time clock so this is the code so here we have started the i2c connection and this is the code for it and here we have end the i2c connection so then uh, so this is uh, the code and after that uh, we have to write the code for lcd module connection so this is the code for uh, port b here we have connected it to port b so this is the code this we also have written earlier in previous programs also so this is the code and after that we have uh, uh, created a delay and uh, then we have created uh, the code for display and after that we have created code for main here we have initialized our lcd then we have clear our lcd then we have written the code for time 
so this is a whole code for times and here we have also created the while loop this is code for date and this is our whole code it has been already provided in our user manual then you have to build the code then the code has been successfully compiled so now you have to import our hex file so for that to open the picket to programmer so as you can see the device has been already connected so so this is whole hex code when you will import the file then this digit will be it changes so then click on the rtc.hex then click on open as you can see that hex table has been changed so our hex file has been successfully imported so you can write the code the program success programming done successfully you can also verify the code so this process has been done now we will proceed to the lcd display so you will see there the date and time will be mentioned and you can also check the table that value has been changed so this is the whole process now after successfully uploading hex file you can see on the display so if nothing comes on your display so you can make certain changes such as you can make it turn on and turn off after that there is a reset button you can also push it and there is a variable pot you can also move it through screw driver after that this all the changes you can make if nothing comes on your display so as you can see in the lcd display there is time and date mentioned so now in experiment 7 we will interface the buzzer with pic microcontroller in this there will be a turn on and turn off of a buzzer after a particular delay now for experiment 7 rest of the connections are same only one connection we have to add which is now we have to connect the port b and sb9 port this port is basically for buzzer so we have to connect these both ports with frc cable so now we will proceed to our next experiment which is of interfacing buzzer with pic microcontroller so for that we have to successfully import our hex file and compile the code so this is the code for buzzer so i have already mentioned my project as a new project as buzzer so i have named my device also then i have set the frequency then i have imported the library so these are the basic process like naming your device set the frequency so you have to do in every experiment so this is the code for buzzer so here we have defined the port b pin b not as a buzzer then after we have defined the port b as output port so this is for delay then we have written the binary equivalent value 0 then we have mentioned the binary equivalent value 1 in the hex code so this here buzzer is equal to 1 and here buzzer is equal to 0 so this is the code for our buzzer now you have to click on build and successfully import our hex uh, compile the code then after that we will import our hex file so you have to open the picket to programmer then as you can see that device has been already connected so your device has been found so after that you have to click on import hex then click on uh, buzzer then click on open as our trainer kit power is off so you have to turn on the power so let me just do it after that you have to again import the hex file buzzer so this is the so here in this way we have given the power to our trainer kit so as you can see that hex file has been successfully imported after that you have to click on write so the programming has been done successfully then you have to verify the code so as you can see the value has been changed 
in the table so now we will uh, switch to our trainer kit so you will hear the sound of buzzer after a particular delay so now after successfully importing our hex file you can hear the sound of buzzer the buzzer is here and also here the led is also glowing so you can see these leds are glowing and you can hear the buzzer sound so now in our next experiment a we will interface the relay with pic microcontroller so in this there will be a turning on and off of relay after a particular delay so now in experiment 8 which is interfacing of relay with pic microcontroller we have to make similar connection as we have done in buzzer so you have to connect this port pv port this is a pv port and this is sv9 port using this frc cable and rest of the connections are same as we have done in our previous experiment now in after making all the changes in our trainer kit we have to make the software part so now we have to compile our code so then we will import our hex file so for that first of all we have to write the code as i have already written the code so the process is same as we have done in our previous experiment so uh we, first of all we have to open the file name your device set the frequency then import the library write the code compile it so i have already written the code for relay code for relay is similar to the code as buzzer i have mentioned the device name frequency then we have to import the library so this is the code for relay so the code is similar as we have done the code for buzzer so this is basically relay is equal to 1 and here we have defined the relay is equal to 0 so now so after that we have to build our code so after that you have to open the packet to programmer to import the hex file then you have to import the hex then click on relay then open as you can see the code has been changed and hex file has been successfully imported then you click on write then you have to click on uh, verify so in this manner we have successfully imported our hex file and you can also see in the table that hex code has been changed so our hex file has been successfully imported now we will proceed to our trainer kit and see the relay it will be turned on and turn off after a particular delay so this is the process for our experiment so now after successfully uploading our hex file you can see that our relay this is glowing and you can hear the sound that there is a particular on and off which means our relay is activated in on condition and relay gets deactivated in off condition now in our ninth experiment we will interface the hex keypad with pic microcontroller in this experiment we will display the press switches on our lcd display now we have to make certain changes and rest of the connections are similar as we have done in our previous experiments like we have to connect this isp port of trainer kit with this packet to programmer kit after that now we will connect the port d this is port d with the lcd display and after that we will connect the port b this is port b with our 4 cross 4 key matrix sv5 port so now in our next experiment which is of interface of hex keypad with pic microcontroller now we will compile the code and import our hex file so the process is same i have already written the code so this is the code for hex keypad so you can see the process is same name your device set the frequency import the library so 
this is the process then import the libraries and after that you have to write the code so this is the code for hex keypad so this code has been already provided in our user manual you can uh, also write the code from there so here we have defined the keypad port b after that we have given written the code for lcd module then after that we have written the care keypad so we have written it for press scan so this is the code which is already provided in our manual then we have initialized the keypad then after that we have created a main so in this main we have initialized the lcd clear the lcd then initialize the keypad and then we have created a while loop in which we have assigned a key value then we have written lcd underscore care cp key so now we have to build a code as you can see that our program has been successfully compiled so now you have to open the picket to programmer to import your hex file which is hex keypad dot hex so you have to click on import hex then select the file then click on open then after that click on write then click on verify so this is the process for our hex keypad so now whatever we will press on the keypad so it will be automatically display on our lcd module so now after successfully importing our hex file we will use this 4 cross 4 key matrix now if this doesn't come on your display so you have to press this reset switch and you can also turn on and turn off this power button so now we will press these keypad matrix button these switches 1 2 3 4 a b c d e and then whatever we will press it we will display that value on this display screen so now you can see like when i'll press 1 so 1 will be displayed on our lcd display 2 3 4 now if i uh, write the alphabets like a b c d e 0 you can press so whatever you will press it it will be automatically display on your lcd display screen so now for our next experiment 10 we have to interface the dc motor with pic microcontroller in this experiment we will rotate the motor clockwise and anti clockwise now for the experiment of interface of dc motor with pic microcontroller the connections are same as we have done in buzzer relay so we have to connect this pb port this is our pb port with this sv9 port and only change is we have to connect this dc motor this dc motor is of 12 volt so you have to connect this dc motor in such a way that there are two wire one is black and one is red you have to connect this black wire to op1 this is op1 basically you have to open this screw and insert the wire and then tighten the screw and after that this is a red wire you have to connect it to op2 for the output of dc motor so now after making all the changes in our trainer kit now we have to import our hex file so before uploading our hex file first of all we have to compile the code so the code for dc motor is already provided in our user manual so you have to open the micro c pro then create a new project set the frequency set the library and all the connections are in the setup are same as we have done in our previous experiment so i have already mentioned the code so this is my code for dc motor here we have defined the port b b4 as motor 1 then we have defined the port b pin b5 as motor 2 then we have defined the port b as output port and then we have initialized the motor 1 and motor 2 as 0 and then after that we have created a while loop 
while loop in which we have defined for motor 1 and motor 2 so this is the basic program for dc motor so as you can see i have already imported the library and uh, then we have to build our program so first of all you have to save the file so save so as you can see that our program has been successfully compiled then after that we have to import our hex file so for that we have to click on prick it to programmer so as you can see that connections are proper so our device has been found so now you have to click on import hex then our device name is motor dc dot hex so you have to click on it open then write then click on verify so the program has been done successfully so our program has been successfully compiled program and verification all has been done and so this is our program for dc motor now we will proceed so now to after successfully uh, importing our kit. hex file you can see that this motor is rotating so closely you can see that this motor is rotating anti clockwise and clockwise and in every rotation this led is glowing one by one one first op1 is glowing then after second rotation op2 is glowing now in experiment 11 we will interface the steven motor with pic microcontroller in this we will rotate the motor clockwise and anti clockwise now for our 11th experiment which is interface of a steeper motor with PIC microcontroller you have to make one connection which is you have to connect port B to SV9 port and rest of the connections are similar. One more connection is this that we have to connect this steeper motor. So for this there is a separate motor and this is the pin you have to connect the 6 pins. So now there are 6, uh, six wires which are uh, moving out from it. So now you have to connect these wires such as you have to connect this black wire to OP4, this red wire to OP3, this orange wire to OP2, this green wire to OP1 and these yellow and brown wire to 12 volt. So now after making all the changes or and all the connection in our trainer kit now we have to compile our code and import our hex file. So you have to write the code and code is already provided in our user manual. So you have to write the code and I have already written the code for a steeper motor. So the process is same as we have done in our previous experiment. So you have to import all the libraries, set the frequency and name your device. So this is my code for a steeper motor. So I have already imported the library, set the frequency. So you have to build this code. So our code has been successfully compiled. So after that you have to open pick it to programmer and import the hex file. So as you can see that PIC device has been found means connection is proper. proper. So now you have to import the hex file which we have named as motor.hex then you have to click on open. So the power, trainer kit is switched on so this is message for that. So as you can see hex file has been successfully imported then you have to write the code. So that has uh, it shows that programming is successful then you can also verify the code. So this is the basic how we have to compile our program. So now we will proceed to our steeper motor and motor will start rotating. So now after successfully importing our hex file, you can see these all LEDs are glowing. If it doesn't glow, you have to check these all the connections. So now you can see that motor starts rotating and closely you can check that this motor is rotating clockwise, clockwise and anti-clockwise. So in this experiment we have learned a lot about the interface of different devices with PIC microcontroller devices such as UART, ADC, 
फोर क्रॉस फोर की पेड मेट्रिक्स एल सी डी एल ई डी एंड डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ मोटर्स एंड डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ डिवाइसेज सो फॉर फर्दर क्वेरीज यू कैन कॉन्टैक्ट टू द टेस्क टेक्नोलॉजीज प्राइवेट लिमिटेड जयपुर एंड यू कैन ऑल्सो रेफर टू आर यूजर मैनुअल दिस इज आर यूजर मैनुअल यू कैन ऑल्सो रेफर इट एंड दिस इज ऑल अबाउट टूडेज सेशन होप यू लाइक द वीडियो थैंक यू फॉर वॉचिंग